Hello, this is Hakka the Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms level 800. It also said that it was clockwork, so I thought that would be really cool. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty, class 1. Safe, secure. Minimal entity account. Oh, minimal entity count. Why well, I can't read apparently. Level eight hundred is the eight hundred first level of the back rooms. This level is a large maze, a maze like warehouse decorated with various clockwork apparatus. Description: Level eight hundred is a seemingly infinite warehouse that houses many clockwork related structures and objects. This lighting, this level's lighting create it's a low, low, yellow glow in each room. It gets significant. They get slightly difficult to see. The size and width of each room is unpredictable, and some rooms require you to walk up or down a flight of stairs or climb up or down on low hanging chains. Each room in level 800 is situated and neatly as metal pulleys, tubes, and machinery line the walls and ceilings. All the machinery in the rooms are of bright gold color and shine in the light. The sound of multiple clocks ticking is heard when traversing through this level. This sound is heard at the same time volume no matter how far you are inside of the level. Each room has an also has an overabundance of clocks, all being analog clocks. Each clock shows a different time and none have been exactly the same style. All of these clocks vary in shape and size, as clocks have been seen in shapes such as squares, triangles, trapezoids, act octagons, and other strange shapes that seem to exhibit non-Euclidean geometry. Level 800 is capable of changing its shape to confuse wanderers inside of this level. Following the list is the most common transformations of level 800. A seemingly infinite hallway that begins to shrink towards one, and then a tug can no longer travel through, ending with a small hole, but looking through this hole, the ring of a ox tower can be heard through the other end. A massive square shaped room with over 900 branching paths. A tall vertical room that resembles the inside of a grandfather clock that appears to stretch for miles. A small amped hallway with multiple square shaped windows that wraps around in a circle, leading the water back to the entrance of level 800. On the other side of the these windows is a pitch black space. This is where windows manifest the creatures. Enemies that can appear in level 800 are clinker toys, hounds, and windows. I think we know about windows and hounds. I don't know what a clinker toy is. You might want to just look at this really quickly. Hope that it doesn't take too long. A62 clinker toys. A62 uh, uh, has an appearance over to a zombified corpse with clockwork apparatus attached to various parts of their body. These clinker toys can vary in appearance and shape, but all act very similar. They normally wander around aimlessly until alerted to the presence of a human. They act with hostility towards humans and will attack humans when they are present. Clinker toys are not capable of speech, but have been making but haven't heard making sounds described as groaning and a metallic ticking sound, much like a clock ticking. They have not been reported on other levels. Behaviors Clinker toys are typically docile creatures with non presence of humans. It has been determined that clinker toys cannot see or hear very well, so they will attack so they will only attack if a human gets close gets very close to them. Clinker toys do not eat need to eat or drink to survive. Biology. Clinker toys are humanoid figures with rotten flesh and flesh and many disordered features. Clinker toys are usually missing body parts or segments of flesh, and in their place are parts of clockwork or machines, typically being metallic joints, keep replacing knees and elbows, tors torsion springs, and metal ribbons replacing the pivotal or points on the neck and groin. Small 9mm camera lenses replacing eyes, and many more examples. 
One thing all of the clicker toys have in common, appearance-wise, is a key located in the center of their backs, and are most commonly seen in unwinded toys. These keys move in a clockwise rotation when the clicker toys walk. Discovery! Clicker toys were discovered on December 3rd, 2021, or March 12th, 2021, when two entities uh, were seen aimlessly wandering around the exit of level 799. Do's and don'ts. Do walk slowly and calmly when encountering clicker toy. Do try not to make any loud noises. Don't run in the presence of a clinker toy unless being chased. Make loud or alerting sounds. Are oh, there testing logs? Oh dear. This is longer than I thought it would be. Oh well. Subject, Andy 62 clinker toys uh, in oven water. Andy slowly walks over to the bottom bottle of oven water on the table. And he holds the bottle in both hands and begins biting the top of the bottle, seemingly attempting to remove the cap. Andy appears to give up trying to open the bottle and drops it to the ground, causing a loud sound. Okay, I think it was March. Andy gets startled and begins growling and screaming as if it senses danger. And he flees from the room out of fear. Here's log two. Item a full toolbox. Andy approaches the toolbox and sits down on the floor. Andy slowly opens the toolbox and receives a wrench. Andy presses the back of the wrench into a, to a large screw located on the left temple of its head and gets to rotate the wrench, tightening the screw. Andy places down the wrench and receives a pipe wrench out of the toolbox and puts it to the and puts a beak of it to its elbow where a metallic joint replaces the arm. Entity begins uh, twisting the joint where it makes squeaking sound as the joint is rusted. During this, the entity makes many pained groaning noises. The entity begins to cry as the black viscous is liquid it begins dripping out of the entity's eyes. The entity still makes, makes groaning sounds. The entity stands up, still crying and holding the pipe wrench. The entity begins bludging itself in the head with the wrench while screaming and wailing. Andy hurls itself at multiple walls, causing massive trauma to its body. The entity suddenly falls to the floor. Andy immediately begins melting into a black goop on the ground. Strangely, the entity is still alive during this process and begins to sob. Sobbing stops, and the entity is presumed dead. That's dark. No, the following experiment occurred entirely on the anax, and as a wrench, as a wretch somehow found its way into the testing room. Subject is ND sixty two clinker toys. Item. Was a radio, but now it's any 15 wretch. Time of test April 23rd, 2021, 6 56 a.m. Wretch and Clinker Toy are introduced into this in the same room. Wretch begins laughing loudly, angering the Clinker Toy. Clinker Toy screams to cover his ears before charging at the wretch to attack it. Clinker Toy snatches a wrench at with its claws, causing the wretch to instinctively jump backward right in pain. Wretch glass growls and begins punching and scratching the Clinker Toy, backing it into a wall. Clinker Toy and Wretch begin and welling and attacking each other violently, such as scratching and biting at each other. The wretch is now on the ground bleeding profusely as the Clinker Toy falls to the ground and dies, starting to melt into a pile of black slime. The wretch passes away as well, being surrounded by the black loop of the the black goop of the clinker toy. Gretch begins growing in various clockwork apparatus on its body. Holies and tubes begin sprouting from its flesh and bones. Gretch regains its life signs, but is now a zombified clinker rich hybrid. The now zombified Gretch begins moving around aimlessly, much like a standard clinker toy. 
The, en the, the entity is exterminated via firearms and also begins melting into a pile of blood and black slime. End log. Back to this. The following document is an, exp an exploration log of the discovery of level 800. The two wanderers who discovered this level are still missing. Level, level 800, time, 9.32 p.m., start log. Wanderer 1 and Wanderer 2 are standing in the doorway to level 800. I'm going to name them Rin and Len, because why not? And also, I've been watching way too much Vogue Alert lately. Similarly examine their surroundings. Well, this place looks familiar. It's strangely clean and organized, though. I mean, everything in this place is a flawless gold color. No specks of dirt or dust in sight. Hey, now, we didn't come here to compliment this, this place's clean endliness. This is probably another our level. Where we come from again? Mm, I think we were just in level 799, so this must be 800 then. Water one size. Well, we better get going then. It's interesting because... Uh, That isn't how levels are classified, as we might be able to tell from the fact that there's no actual cohesion between levels. Len and Rin have begun and walking for approximately 25 minutes for a transformation in level 800 structure occurs. What the hell? This is a weird room. Yeah, it's all made of wood and there's a huge thing up there. Hmm, this doesn't look safe. Let's just move on. The door is over there. Hold on, there might be something up there if we climb this thing. Maybe an exit? What? No, that's ridiculous. We've been in this same place for two years. Do you think getting back to our own world would be that easy? Look, we've been running through scary rooms and escaping demons and monsters in those rooms. This must be the release we deserve. I can feel it emanating from the top of this room. Water 1 jumps up and grabs a giant pendant and begins climbing upward. Hey! Hey! Get down from there! It's a trap! It's this place's way of lulling you into a false sense of security. Wanderer 1 does not respond, and still climbing dependent. Dude? Dude, stop! Up it! Get down here before it's too late! Wanderer 1 does not respond. Dude, don't leave me here. I'm scared! Wanderer 2 begin and sobbing. God damn you! This place is a hellhole! Low growling can be heard in the distance. Three clinker toys wander into the room. What the hell? Two more clinker toys come to enter the room via the entrance. No! No! Stand back! Stand back! Water 2 runs to the opposite end of the room, backing into a corner. The clinker toys begin walking toward Water 2. A loud chiming begins ringing out from the top of the room. The pendant begins to swing. <coughs> What's happening? Water 2 begins screaming as his flesh starts rotting, revealing clockwork parts underneath. No, no, I can't feel my legs! The clinker toy's keys all start spinning at high speeds. The chime gets louder as the clinker toys begin expelling a black viscous liquid all over Water 2, causing Water 2 to scream in pain. It burns! Ah! Water 2's vocal voice distorts as her voice and vocal cords begin melting. 
Water tubes whose screams devolve into gurgles and growls as they have now begun to their con on their conversion into a clinker toy. End log. Basis outposts and communities. There are no known communities or outposts on this, this level. Entrances. There are only two known entrances to level 800. Climbing into one of the open ventilation ducts in level 1 leads to level 800. Breaking open one of the walls in level 356 will take you to level 800. I thought uh, at, at the two wanderers accidentally found themselves in this place. Whatever. Exits. Breaking open, uh, breaking open and entering any of the windows in level 800 will take you back to level 0. That's a horrible idea. Removing any of the large circular or clay plate shaped locks and entering the remaining hole will take you to level 808. Climbing the pan inside of the vertical grandfather clock uh, room will reveal a wooden door that will, that will take you to the end. When moving to the end of the level, the light will get darker until a spotlight revealing a large vertical drop is seen. One can climb down from this drop via a low hanging chain over the drop. The drop appears to go down approximately 3 miles until it stops with a brick floor. There is a small hallway with a door and a door with a flashing exit sign above it. This door will take you to level 801. Level 801 is not a level that exists. So your best bet would be doing what Wanderer 1 did in that situation. Climbing the pendant inside of the vertical grandfather clock room and going through the, a door that leads to the end. I'm not sure which version of the end it is, but I'm going to take a quick look and see. Looks like it's just the end. So probably the... Yep, it's that one. Um, it's one with the pictures that are actually of the, um, I think it was like some sort of book sale that was ending, or like the place was shutting down and stuff. I don't know, a lot of people really got obsessed with it. Anyway, that was level 800. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!